Hey guys, DT here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new episode of Boom Beach. This is the first day that I have participated in the task force operation since I got sick and now since I'm starting to feel a little bit better. So uh, stay tuned for the highlights of this operation. But for now, let's jump in into today's video, which is all about Dr. T, of course. So I attacked in the TF um, attack with the uh, hookah combo therefore I'm going to go ahead and start with that and then we shall see what we will change to so I'm gonna take down this over here and usually I can actually just take down a couple of first stages with just like GBE or I like to use my critters a lot I feel like critters are so much fun it's awesome to watch them take down the um, HQ of Dr. T and so we are gonna do just that and then maybe I'll fast forward it to make this video a little shorter But let's just keep going through it. It's gonna be a really quick takedown down it goes and let's jump in Into Dr. T stage 2 and actually I think I may just deploy my troops just to make the attacks quicker And then we can move to the next stage and continue going through it. So guys I know one of the questions you're going to ask me in the comment section is where the heck is the announcement of the winners of the giveaway? And I'm going to tell you that I already drew the winners, so they already have been selected. If you have, um, you know, put your name into it, then you have even higher chances of winning because I picked extra winners. But I am not going to record that video until I can do it with the face camera as well. And right now I look purely poopy because I've been now sick for 11 days um, but luckily I was able to get a prescription of antibiotics from my doctor uh, three days ago so I've now finished in the course of antibiotics I have four days to go and they told me that after I'm through with it I will be like a brand new human and therefore that is exactly when the announcement video will come out but don't you fret, you will still get your presents, you will still get your cool prizes before the New Year's because I will ship it right away. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That's hopefully going to happen super, super soon. And right now, let's jump in into Dr. T stage three. So nothing out of the ordinary in here. I'm going to use some of my GBE. I obviously boosted it for the task force attack so I have a little extra here so why not use it because we definitely got it and I'm just gonna randomly take out a few things here a few things there and then I'm gonna drop my critters over on the uh, on the mortars just because they take up uh, they take up my zookas way too quickly I don't want for that to happen uh, and now we're just gonna go ahead and do this over here and I should probably zoom out a bit more because that's not a proper zoom here Dr. T stage 3 is coming to a very very quick end um, so ever since I've upgraded my landing crafts, a few of them are now at level 20, which basically means that I can either have three tanks or have extra Zookas. So level 20 um, landing craft, I think, holds 12 Zookas. I feel like I'm able to complete uh, Dr. T both uh, all seven stages much more uh, frequently now than I used to be able to do in the past. So definitely was a really great idea to use the loot to upgrade my landing crafts before anything else. Okay, so over here we are going to take out the shock launcher and a lot of the defenses right by the HQ. And then we're going to deploy the troops actually from the far right hand side and we're going to take the long way to the HQ just because I feel like it makes more sense and that way we are not going to have to deal with all of the defenses over on the left hand side like I really don't have uh, don't have any desire to have to go in there so we're gonna use one more barrage over here by the HQ now we're gonna reflare the troops one more time and they are going to take a bit of a longer road but that's a-okay that's totally fine we're still going to bring down the HQ and hopefully do so with minimal or no casualties whatsoever so I'm gonna Flare at this uh, uh, the boom cannon over here, drop my critters, 
and drop a second uh, box of critters. Now the uh, reflare is going to happen to the HQ over here. We are hopefully gonna take down that cannon and down it goes. I'm gonna shock this concoction over here and then just watch my troops uh, take down the HQ super, super easy and fast. And I am gonna put a med kit on them just to kind of help them out towards the end. And I am going to drop yet another one over here just because and down it goes. Dr. T stage four is all finished. So let's check out stage five and let's see if we should keep the same troop combo or if we should retrain. And as a matter of fact, my troops are still retraining. So I'm just using whatever I have. I literally jumped into recording this right after I finished off the task force attack and got just enough troops to be able to jump into uh, Dr. T. So let's clear off a few things over here. We have a shock launcher up here, shock launcher here, and a rocket launcher. So first things first, I'm going to take down the cluster over by the landing, and then we are going to move on to the uh, rocket launcher up here. I really want to take this down just because I don't want my troops to start getting stunned as soon as they land. That would not be very good. And um, we're also going to take down the machine gun, which is pretty sweet. Machine gun has pretty good splash damage in terms of Zookas. So now we should be able to go. I will drop the uh, shock over here and shock over here. Uh, should have probably... Ooh, no. I should have... I definitely dropped the uh, shock bomb over on the machine gun as well, but I didn't, uh, my bad, and now I paid the consequences, definitely lost a few Zookas, that was not cool at all, and look at them Zookas, they just, they just can't get enough, can they? So let's go ahead and uh, uh, we drop the critters there to kind of help to patch them up, and I still think we're gonna get this stage, I just feel like I could have done it a bit better, but I didn't pay close enough attention and I'm not gonna blame it on being sick even though, oh well, I guess I could, couldn't I? All right, so we're gonna go in and try to finish this off. I only have a few Zookas left and only have a few medics left, so we are gonna hold off just a second and uh, go ahead and drop some critters over here, a shock over here. Now I need to get as soon as possible over to the HQ and start taking down these defenses. This is going to be a very, very close takedown, guys. I have Zookas powering from the right and Zookas powering from the left. The shock launcher is down and we are going to bring down Dr. T stage five. This is also quite fortuitous because I feel like now is a good time to switch out my troop combo uh, now that I've lost so many troops. So let's go ahead and first of all, see how many exactly we lost and then uh, check out stage six and decide which troop combo we are going to switch out to. So I lost a lot. Well, actually not so many. Uh, only six uh, heavies and nine Zookas. It just felt like a lot, but I guess it's because I'm not fully trained or uh, retrained to begin with. So not so bad, actually. So here we go. Stage six, Dr. T. Let's check it out and see what we should train to go in for Dr. T stage six. So this could be a pretty good um, opportunity to retrain for uh, tanks and medics. There are a few of the uh, cannons and boom cannons over here, but there are significantly more of the rocket launchers. And although we could just go in from the left where there are fewer rocket launchers and I am not within the range, I feel like it's best to retrain to TMAT. So I'm gonna retrain and come right back and finish off Dr. T stage six. Okay guys, so we are all retrained and we are ready to go. So let's jump in into Dr. T stage six and see how far we can get in. And right now I have two of my boats that are level 20 that fit three tanks. So I have a little extra gun power here with me. What I am gonna go ahead and do first is take care of the shock launcher over here. So let's go ahead and jump in. And then I will use the GBE as I please to try to remove as many of the uh, boom cannons and cannons that are close by to the HQ. But for now, I just really need to get rid of this shock launcher. So let's go ahead and um, 
deploy our troops over here so we can see exactly how much GBE we have. And we're obviously going to go through the very far right hand side. So for now, I want to take care of this cluster over here because there's a lot happening there. And I really want to get rid of that boom cannon. So let's go ahead and take care of this. Oh, no, 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 no. That is a terrible, terrible misclick. Terrible misclick. And that definitely was supposed to be an artillery shot. So let's go ahead and take care of that tiny little mistake that almost cost me a few of my tanks. But luckily we caught it on time. So that is great news. Okay, now I'm gonna take care of the uh, boom cannon over here, right by the HQ. And the tanks are being patched up really quite nicely by all of the medics. Now I need to put them all in one place because these two are starting to separate. So I'm gonna go ahead and after we're done uh, flare over here so we're not gonna get within the range of this um, boom cannon over here. Now let's take care of the uh, boom cannon in front and now that that is done I'm going to spend some of my GBE on uh, oh that again a misclick again guys today is the day of misclicks and I am not very proud of myself for that all right the cannon is down and that is great great news from here on I shouldn't have any issues with the uh, takedown we're gonna take down the machine gun really really soon and then from here on i'm just gonna use my gbe on patching up my troops and maybe i will just drop some of the uh critters over here for the uh mortars because they're really quite pesky and i'm gonna drop another box over here the medics are now patching up the tanks and we should be in a perfect shape to finish off Dr. T stage six in just a few seconds. Uh, and yeah, so we were able to avoid the, uh, you know, shaky situations with a few of the misclicks that I've had. And now I'm going to cover my medics. Uh, I don't really love the fact that medics try to like run around and, um, you know, once one of them is hit up, they're just kind of going back and forth. But it's okay because we still got Dr. T stage six down. And come on, just a few more pals, guys and we will be right there. Come on, here we go. Dr. T is taken down. I don't think we lost any troops, but let's go ahead and, and, and wait and see. So this was pretty quite easy. I can't believe the two of my misclicks there. They were pretty major, no casualties, hooray. Hooray indeed, and did he do. So let's take a look at Dr. T stage seven and maybe we can take it down and maybe we won't take it down, but at least we are going to go ahead and try. Okay, a lot of cannons, a lot of shock launchers and uh, a lot of, uh, not cannons, rather boom cannons. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to eliminate this cluster over here that has both the boom cannon and the shock launcher a lot a lot a lot a lot is happening maybe i will actually go ahead and boost up one more gbe statue just so i have a little extra and let's see which one that will be um to to, to do okay definitely need a 17 percent one so i'll do the 17 percent over here let's boost up it as well and then let's jump right in i'm definitely going to be able to use the statue boost after i'm done here as well and i will just jump in into a few more raids now it definitely makes more sense for me to clear off from the left hand side and then just go through the left so let's try jump in and test out the water see how this goes this may be a total disaster or this may be a takedown so i totally have no idea but that is the fun of going and recording and commentating live anything literally could happen okay so the uh, statue boost here, the ice boost here is insane. And let's go ahead and see if that, nope, that artillery shot was not enough. Let's do one more. Okay, perfect. Now I want to take care of these two over here. And the thing is, um, there are also a lot of boom cannons there, but I kind of just need to not have my troops be stunned with the shock launcher. So I feel like at the moment that is a priority. So let's see if we can take this down with one more artillery shot and hopefully all three will go down. And that is indeed what happened. Uh, so now we should just drop our troops and uh, start off from the left hand side 
the flamethrowers are kind of pesky right off the bat but we also have our medics so that should be helping us out quite a bit and a lot of rocket launchers guys so it is going to be essential to make sure that my um that my uh, what am I trying to say? That my medics are staying behind the uh, tanks because otherwise rocket launchers will absolutely take them out super duper quickly. That uh, sniper tower there has caused a ton of damage to one of my tanks. Sniper towers are really, really damaging to the tanks, so I have to be a bit more careful here. And I'm gonna start with the barrage over here uh, to take care of the uh, boom cannons and cannons over in the corner. Once again, a misclick, guys. So what is going on? What is going on? I have been in bed way too long, not feeling great, and I am just not performing so great under the pressure right now. So let's see whether or not we will actually be able to get anywhere near. Let's go ahead and get up over here. I'm gonna cover up my troops and um, come on, let's cover you up and let's see whether or not we can take down the boom cannons before they completely annihilate my troops. And the tanks right now are not targeted, uh, not zooming in on the uh, boom cannons, which could be really damaging. So let's hope uh, and see that, let's just hope that we'll be able to, oh no, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really, really, really bad, guys. I don't think uh, Dr. T stage seven is going to happen today. Definitely not the way it is looking right now. I only have uh, two tanks, uh, four tanks left, and that is definitely not looking very good. Um, Oh boy, okay, so I only have two, one tank left. I'm gonna go ahead and retreat and I'm going to call it the end. So hopefully you guys can do a little bit better than what I did today and complete all seven stages of Dr. T. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, DT is out.